Hi, and welcome to another Exploring Fine tutorial. Today we're going to look at the System Tray menu. Now this is a relatively new addition to the Fine Toolkit, so make sure that you're running at least version 2.2.0 before starting with this tutorial. Let's dive right into the code. As you can see here, we're starting with essentially the same Hello World application that we've used in other tutorials. I've changed the title of the window to SysTray and the content of the window to Fine System Tray. Nothing particularly imaginative here, but we can see how easy it is to add the system tray to an existing application. Because this functionality is only available for desktop applications, we first need to make sure that the application is in fact running on a desktop computer. To do this, we check that the app instance is of type desktop app. We can do that with a simple type assertion. So we want to check that it's okay that our app is a desktop app. And so this code will execute if it is in fact running on a desktop. And we've been able to capture the desk variable. And with that, we can start to use the system tray functionality. Firstly, let's set up a menu that could be displayed. I'll just call it M. And we can use the same menu APIs that have been used in the main menu in your application, for example. I'll just call this my app. That's usually not going to be displayed, but just in case. And then we'll just add one menu item. New menu item, we'll call it show. And that should take one function parameter as well, which is the action of this menu item. This code will simply log that it is actioned. So we'll print line, or just say tapped show. That is our function. And we can tidy this up here. And then set the menu on our system tray using that desk variable that we captured earlier set system tray menu. As you noticed before, we could set the icon as well. But for now, we're just going to be setting the menu. The icon will default to the find logo or whatever the application logo is that's been set elsewhere. So let's go and run this code. We'll open a new terminal and type go run. And you can see our application has appeared as we would expect, but also a system tray icon with the menu and show when we tap it, that is going to execute. And you'll see there's a quit item there, which we can tap to exit the application. Also, we can close this window. And as you'll see, the icon has disappeared. And that's because a fine application will normally close if you close all of its windows. Now we can actually make an improvement on that by using set close intercept. So now that we've set up our window, we can set close intercept. And this just takes a little function that will execute each time somebody tries to close a window. And what we want to do is to hide the window instead of closing it. And that means that the application won't quit because the window is still there. In fact, whilst we're here, let's just complete the functionality. Instead of logging that the menu item was tapped, let's re-show the window that we're hiding. So if I just save that file and we run it again, you can see the application has appeared like before, but if I close the window, the tray icon is still available. And if I tap show, the window appears again. And then we can quit the application by choosing the quit option from the menu. It's that straightforward. I hope you have fun adding a system tray menu to your application as well. Come back later for another Exploring Fine tutorial.